Hello guys and welcome to the Ark on Arctic Fox PvE cluster guys. Today I am going to show you how to breed one of Genesis' newest creatures. She's sitting out here. I'll uh, make it easier to see. Let's shut the door here folks. There she is right there. The Megachelon is what I guess actually the name I've been giving it. This is a Megachelon. But yeah guys I am going to record do a brief tutorial on how to breed these majestic creatures as they can only be bred as I as far as I know still on the Genesis map as it says you have to breed them here I'll show you, I'll show you. when you go to breed it when you go to enable its mating behavior it should say above it uh, where is it right there requires deeper water to mate now I've tried it on the island uh, the deepest parts did not affect it you actually have to go fairly deep with these guys so let's uh Let's get into this here and I'll go down into the water and show you where we abouts we have to go. So let's go here. I spawned in, if you're looking to where I spawned in, it spawned in on this pillar right here at the southwest teleportation from HLNA. Um, once you've done that, you'll jump down into the water where you can create this platform if you so desire. Because I found a nice spot to breathe these just around here. I'll show you where. As I gotta go into deep, 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 deep water. Make sure I got my other ones with me. Yeah, I do. Right about here. Once I can see into the water. Yeah, right down there. We're going to keep going down there. Now these things are fairly powerful. Um, I've had the only thing that has zapped me off of one was the jellyfish. The electrical eels, I've been lucky that I can back up and uh, bite them. You just gotta take, it takes a while to attack them, but you can absorb a lot of damage with this, as this thing is virtually a tank. The damage it, it absorbs is pretty, pretty good. So let's see, right down about, we should start seeing another hole that I'm gonna be going down into, go a little deeper. See that seaweed in front of us, that green seaweed? I thought that was the bottom of where we gotta go. Nope. As we turn around behind me, you're gonna see a different kind of seaweed. It almost looks like an underwater tree, is what it's almost uh, looking like. But yeah, hello guys, this is Stony Studios, giving you a little bit of a rundown on how to breed these big old turtles. Now we have something set up down here to breed them on. I'll show you how far you get down before you can breed it. I think I have, may have something chasing me that we're going to have to attack. Nope. Nope. Sounds like we're good. Alright. See that little structure right there? This is what I had. With my, me and uh, friend. Oh, yeah, there is. There's an anglerfish chasing me. You see what I mean by these things are a pain in the keister to attack stuff with? Whoops. We may have to get out and attack them with my sword. I got one of the angler fish. I think the other one's still down there, isn't it? Or is it? There it is. Oh, I see it now. All right, let's just get off this thing and attack with this with this sword. Let's just get that angler fish out of here. So we're just gonna park the fish, park the turtle over here. I think it's still attacking my. Uh... No, it's right there behind me. Where is it? There's the dead one. There's the live one. And we're missing incredibly. There we go. We got it. Okay. The anglerfish is out of here. Let's get back to what we're doing. Alright. Now, as I was saying, you have to basically be down here to breed them. And hatch them. Their eggs only hatch down here as well. So we'll open up this. Like that. 
Take a couple pieces of element out of here. As we are, you can see I'm on a boosted server doing this. So there's stuff that stacks a little differently than you see it on a regular server. Close the back porthole. Let's dip down in here. Good. Now, so we don't have anything bothering us anymore. Okay, let's activate the barrier. Here's our male, or sorry, this is our female, right? Now she should be ready to breed. Ready to mate. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's get my male out. Where is he? Where's Squirtle? Where is Squirtle? There was an admin painting event on this server that I play on, folks. And they painted me a turtle, and it looks like Squirtle. All right, so there we go. Let's pop out. Hey, pop him out. There he is. There's Mr. Squirtle. I'm gonna dive him down in here. Oops! Inside the turtle. There we go. Okay, let's take that angler gel off this angler, why not? Alright, there we go. Okay, now they should be ready to mate. That bubble is up for the next one that I gotta do, so I'm gonna do a friend of mine's turtles for him as well. I'll do that after. That's why the bubble is being set up. This bubble is basically just to protect us if anything does. If we're doing a bunch of breeding down here, we don't have to worry. We can bring the turtles. These rocks down here. Let's see. Oh, stone and flint. Well, that's cool. Okay, it's like coral that gives me stone and flint. Oh, I think we have our egg. Yeah, we have our egg. Let's uh, raise the mom up. And there's our egg. That's the breed, and as you can see, here I'll uh, take it out of there so I can show you the, uh, the process for that as well. I'm going to put daddy back into a cryopod. Or I'll put Mama back into the cryopod. Come here, Mama. Come here, Mama. Let's uh, take your behavior. Disable mating. Okay. Same with the... Uh, actually, this is the one I'm going to use to go up to the surface with. So, we will... Behavior... Whoops, whoops. Disable mating. Now I'll show you the hatching process as well. Okay, let's uh, grab, where's my egg? Oh, there's my egg. Okay, there's my egg. All right. Pop that egg out like that. Okay. And it should be, yeah, see, incubating. Five minutes and 34 seconds. You take this up to the surface, it's too hot. No matter how many air conditioners you put into it, it's always going to be too hot. So you actually have to raise it this far under the ocean as well. So you have to hatch them and breed them down this far into the ocean. Now the hatching process should take about five minutes and 13 seconds. Okay, so we'll probably speed that up. What's our timer at? 11 seconds, 10, 9, 7, missed a few numbers, 5, <laughs> 3, 2, 1, Okay, here it comes. There we go. Let's get her to follow me back in here. Come on, buddy. Come here. Oh, they swim super slow, too. Well, if the baby takes off on you, you know where it is. Alright, come here, buddy. Alright, is it a male or a female? Oh, we have another male. 615 male. I have two male. <laughs> oh, that's going to be my new breeder. There you go, guys. That is the mating and or sorry that's the yeah the mating breeding and hatching process for a mega chelon look at that that's your baby there's your adult right here that's about the size he'll get to but 
But yeah, 615, guys. That's not bad at all. That is barely decent. Okay, so we're going to make sure it's behavior. Disable wandering. Now, stop it from following me. Okay. Now I'll put you in a cryopod for later. Alright, let's grab that fish meat. That's that. Alright, guys. Oops. Alright. Well, guys, that was our breeding process and hatching process for the Mega Chelan Turtles that have now dropped into Genesis. Thank you for checking this out. Hope it was beneficial and hopefully it was very helpful to you guys in how, how to breed these majestic animals as they are, they were born. They were huge. <laughs> so that's a big pain in the ass. The taming process is really wild and well, let's just say, to be able to breathe them, you have to come this far under the ocean. Ark, you have outdone yourselves, guys. So thank you for checking out this tutorial. Hope it helps you out, and I will see you again soon enough. As well as you guys want to check me out, go to facebook.com and check out Stony Studios. I am live there pretty well majority of the week, so thank you guys so much. And as always, take care and stay safe.